call. Oh, you can feel that, can't you? Things are different. Things are different when they get face to face. Now, guys, let me get a little bit of business out of the way. Showtime, pay-per-view, and most valuable promotions present Jake Paul versus Anderson Silva. This will be Saturday, October 29th at the Gila River Arena. Guys, that's in Glendale, Arizona, just outside of Phoenix. Tickets will go on sale Wednesday, September 14th via Ticketmaster.com. Paul versus Silva Pitts International Superstar and Serial Risk Taker. Jake, the problem child, Paul, he's gonna be taking on UFC legend and professional boxer, Anderson the Spider Silva. Yeah, Serial Risk Taker, that's actually pretty cool. That's a new one, I've never heard Serial Risk Taker yet. Yeah, whoever wrote that, I agree with you, that's a great line, but guys, I gotta tell you this bout, many people are asking this, it's gonna be contested over eight rounds, we're gonna do a catch weight of 187 pounds. The event will be available via pay-per-view on cable and satellite and streaming in the Showtime app via ShowtimePPV.com and internationally on Fight TV. I'd also like to announce that Ashton Sill, teenage boxing sensation, will be making... Let's go. Yeah, he's going to be making his Showtime PPV uh, debut on this undercard, undefeated. Seven wins, no losses, all by knockout. Let's he go, is MVP's baby. first boxing prospect signed to a contract. I'd like to welcome Ashton Silv. Let's go, baby. All right. I've got that out of the way, back down to us. I got to tell you guys, I was told this fight would never happen. You know, there's a reason when people get married, they come out and do it in public. The vow is something different. You want to sign a bout contract, you want to slip that out to the internet, that's one thing. You want to come face to face on a stage, you want to tell another man, I will see you on October 29th. You want to tell him the agreed upon weight class and we're going to meet under the Queensberry rules. It's a whole other thing. And I got to tell you, when this fight got announced, it was a two to one favorite for Jake Paul. Within 24 hours, that switched to a two to one favorite for Anderson Silva, which means you guys truly don't know. I think it speaks to the contest that we have here. And Anderson, if I may start with you, it seems throughout your career, and I followed it very closely, it seems as though you follow a martial arts code to make sure that you don't call somebody out. You don't ruffle feathers as a way of getting a fight. You buckle down and you train, but this must be the opportunity that you were hoping for. Well, every single time I I'm enjoying my life and try to do my best in everything I do in my life, you know, especially because uh, I love my job. This sport, the martial arts and uh, the combat sports is part of me. And uh, when I have the opportunity to show my, my respect and how much I love fighting, I'm completely exciting, you know, and today is so amazing, you know. I'm, I'm so exciting. All right, and Jake, I, I got to say to you, you've made a lot of headlines. You sold a lot of tickets and filled up some arenas. But the fun is over. You don't play games with Anderson Silva. Correct, except I'm about to. Hey, the fun was over day one of boxing, OK? The fun was over on day one of boxing. I signed up for the hardest sport in the world. And I love it. That's what I'm built for. And I love a challenge. You know, I grew up idolizing this guy. For me, this is even surreal that I'm, like, sitting here. I have to take a moment to be like, wait a second, is this real? All the cameras. I was sitting on a couch watching this guy as a kid, and here we are. I love the challenge. This is my toughest fight yet, and I'm prepared. Anderson, you've got a star here. You're going to have a full arena. You are going to be the main event, but none of those things are new. You do have an opponent who's being respectful. He's not getting under your skin. Is that a tactic, and are you prepared for it? Absolutely. I think, uh, first of all, guys, everybody needs your respect 
this guy here. Why? Because it's open the door for everybody think about something new one, you know? Uh, and I'm so excited, you know? I'm so excited, I'm so happy to be here, especially because many, many years ago, how many years ago you come with your brother and I take picture with you? You know, it, it's insane, you know? I'm, I'm fight a lot in my entire life and I'm here again and I, you know, as the new generation, and I continue here. I'm so happy, you know, and that's the proof everybody can do everything in your life when you believe in yourself, when you have a passion, when you love, you know, and I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> you know, Jake, breaking in uh, to a community, in this case, uh, combat sports and specifically boxing, you've got to go through superstars. You've got to go through guys that you look up to, but you're also going to need motivation. You also have a history of having some fun, of getting a back and forth going. That doesn't appear to be the case. Are you in the right headspace to prepare for the spider? 100%. It all has to do with my previous opponents all being dickheads. <laughs> Anderson Silva is the nicest guy in the world and we love him. If my opponent... Thank you. If my opponent is a dickhead, I'm gonna treat him like a dickhead and beat his fucking ass. And I think people have seen that side of me, but I respect this man. I'm still gonna knock him out, but I respect, but respectfully knock him out. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. So it's, it's fine, you know, you know, I like that because, you know, the energy involved in this fight is so amazing. You know, a lot of people, uh, think about, Anderson, you're crazy. Why you do that? And I say, you know, that's a good challenge for me. Because Gabriel and Eliezer and my son Khalil beat me every day in the boxing training, and little Nico too. And I say, I can't do that. I can't do that. I think I can do that, you know. But everybody needs you watching this fight because... The people go see the different Anderson and the different Jack Paul, for sure. Anderson, I know in just a moment when we open this up to the audience, I'm gonna have to hear about your age, which is going to annoy me, but let me get in front of it right now. Does your age matter? Does he have an advantage with his youth? I mean, I think the age is only the numbers, you know, and I continue training hard every day. You know, and uh, my last sparring is uh, crazy. Eliezer knocked me out three times, and I say, bro, I don't go fight with you. And I say, I know, but I need you beat you. The coach say, I need to beat you. I say, okay, all right. And let's go the next uh, round, I go kick you and put it in the ground. <laughs> Jake, to beat him, you're going to have to hit him. Many other opponents have been afraid to engage. They get in front of him. They see the movements. They lock up and pause. Are these lights going to be too bright? And how do you know for sure? Nah, I, I'm built for this, you know, and sparring world champions in the gym, you know, getting ready for Anderson. Obviously, he's a southpaw. My first time going up against a southpaw. But I love this shit, man. I, I truly feel like I was put on earth and destined to box. Uh, and this will be my biggest stage yet and my biggest test yet. But I'm a young man, and I'm excited to get this experience under my belt because the fights are just going to keep on getting bigger. This is just the start. And Jake, this is a personal question, but I really have always wanted to ask you this. Where do you find the time? I mean, you've got to be getting in the gym a couple of times a day, whether that's road work and then another one in the gym. It still requires two times a day. I see you what I feel like 24 hours. I know what you're doing, whether it's social media. I can, when do you have time to get in the gym? And how many years has this actually been going on? And feel free to include your brother. I'm sure it was a family event. But when did you guys actually start preparing? Yeah, I think about four years ago. Uh, only been preparing as a pro really for less than three years. I made my pro debut less than three years ago. But time management is crucial. I have the best assistant in the world. Mar Shout out to Marcos. Um, and <laughs> he's a pivotal part of this like 30 person team. Uh, we have the best coaches, best nutrition, and we just work hard, man. That's the, been the key to my success and the key to my brother's success is just nonstop work 
every single day, showing up um, and being present, you know? And to be honest, man, I'm, I'm, I'm addicted to this shit. So no matter how hard I have to work, this is, this is what I do. I think most boxers, after they're done boxing, they go play video games or do some shit. I'm working on my brand, working on content, working on venture capital, working on better, download better. And uh, that's, that's how I live my life. And Jake, there appears to be, again, from me, and I'm a fan at heart whether I get to stand up here with you guys or not, it appears to me that you want to be welcomed by a community. It appears to me that you feel as though you were resisted. This guy wasn't young enough. This guy wasn't experienced enough. Um, that's over now. There is no question and there is no headlines. There is no narrative when you step in there with Anderson Silva. You are the underdog for the first time in your career, but boy, it's close. I mean, two to one might sound like a lot. I saw fights go off three days ago that were six to one. I saw one that was getting ready to be 12 to one. I feel as though you are getting your respect in many ways, but this is the match. This is going to need the performance. Do you disagree? Yeah, no, this is it. You know, this is a make or break moment. Um, and I know I have someone who just beat a former world champion boxer in front of me. I don't take him lightly at all. He's the GOAT of striking. He's the GOAT of MMA. And like you said, no one thought I'd take this fight. Even Dana White did not think I would take this fight. And Dana, I know you're watching, bro. You still owe me a million dollars from when you bet against me. I'm um, Ben Askren. But I want you to come out of hiding, stop being a bitch, and make a bet against me and Anderson and actually pay up this time because you didn't think I would take this fight. So let's make a bet. Let's put a mil. Let's put two mil. Let's put five mil on it. But I bet you won't, Dana, because you're a bitch. Well, Anderson, I was not planning to invoke Dana White. However, he did make a statement about your opponent. He said your opponent won't face you. He said your opponent is not good enough to face you. He said that you're the greatest combat sports athlete of all time, and that conversation needs to be revisited. But Anderson, if you go into anything with too much confidence, it is a problem. How are you viewing the fight, the opportunity, what it could mean for the future of your boxing career to be in there with somebody who is a bona fide superstar in Jake Paul? Well, yeah, it's... it's I threw you... a few... Let's start with the Dana question, as a matter of fact. Let's start with that, huh? He still believes in you. It's got to mean something. I mean, I have my personal opinion about Dana White, you know, and I prefer don't say nothing about Dana because Dana is Dana, you know. But in the time I'm, I'm fighting you see, I do my best. I broke my leg. I broke my hips. I have uh, the amazing uh, uh, stories inside UFC. I fight with this legend guys two times, you know. And uh, it's the first man to beat me five rounds, completely destroy my mind. And I, I mean, I'm, thank you, God, I'm here to talk about that today and fight with Jake Paul, you know. But uh, boxing in my life is very special because I grew up watching a lot of boxing. Uh, I training with the Brazilian team. And uh, I come to the sport to show my respect, you know, for showing my respect for a lot of boxers and the professional fighters doing something special for us, you know. And I'm so happy to be here and continue to do my job. I'm 47, you know, and continue here, continue to do my job, continue doing something I love, you know. I'm so happy. And guys, let me speak directly to you. We are a community. This is the fight that we wanted. This is the fight that we told Jake Paul he did not have the courage to take. This is the fight that Dana White said would not be bay. Now, I only bring that to you because if we're going to try to get ahead of this thing to take away from a potential glorious moment by Jake Paul, people talk about age. Now, maybe I'm a veteran. Maybe there's some personal to this that I will admit, but I watched him put a belt around Tyson Fury about three months ago. It was beautiful. I watched him put a belt around Anderson Silva in 2008, and those belts don't lose any rust. And I've never fully understood the difference. Once a champion, always a champion. And when we talk about a fighter that fights older in his career, those examples are with somebody who removed themselves from the sport. Those are examples of somebody coming back, they let their body go. 
They got back in the gym. They spent a couple of months. This man has never left the sport. This man's as good as you've been told, and those belts don't have rust on them. And the other side of the coin is if a young man whose experience I can count on one hand can go out there and get the jump on him, in all fairness, guys, we've got to give him his due. Now, the first question from the audience, please. Any questions? Any questions? Radio Rahim. Jake, when you started boxing, the UFC fighters, MMA fighters dismissed you. You were a troll. It seemed like this is a community you would never accept you. Having taken this Anderson Silva fight, do you feel accepted now by the MMA and UFC community? Does that matter to you? Is it? I don't give a fuck. I played them like a fiddle. Got them watching, got them intrigued, and now they're in my hip pocket. So I'm winning at my own game, and they're all a part of a major plan. And Anderson, uh, Jake has said he wants to be a boxing world champion, and his goals are well stated. You've accomplished everything you possibly could in combat sports. What brings you here? What is it that motivates you to get a win and continue fighting at 47? First of all, my motivation is because I love it. I love my job. I love uh, combat sports. The second one, I have five kids. <laughs> and I come grandpa too. And one more thing, I love challenge. You know, I challenge my entire life. You know, and every single time when I, people ask me why I do this, I say one thing. Doing something you love, doing something you have a passion inside. You have this, you have successful. Doesn't matter how much you working hard, you have successful. Questions? Question for the legend Anderson Silva. It was a year ago you knocked out Tito Ortiz. How much training have you been doing inside the boxing ring and what does this training camp look like for the legend Anderson the Spider Silva? Well, I train every day. I know stop training. You know, uh, my coach here, uh, Coach Sergio and Coach Doria. Coach Doria is calm, but uh, Coach Nico never stopped me. And come at 6 a.m. in my house with uh, 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 Eliezer and little Nico and put me to run. And they say, Coach, I'm, I'm an old man. I can't run. Of course you can run. Go. And I run, I back and training, and I, you know, keep working. And that, because that's my life, you know, that's my life. That's I need you pass uh, for new generation. Do your best. Doesn't matter, you do it, do your best, best you can. Question for Jake, he's a respectful man. You have a great demeanor up there on stage. Is there any side bets that you're willing to take with this guy leading up to the fight? Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I was gonna say if, if you beat me, I'll get a spider tattoo. No, 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 stop, but, bro. But, let, let me tell you that. But no, 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 no. You don't need to put in the spike tattoo. I know you're my fan. Don't worry. I'm uh, your fan. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Let's wait, go. Wait, 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 let's wait, go. Wait, 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 stop. Stop. Come on, come on, come on. I'm your fan, too. I'm a big fan, you know. But I, I hate tattoos, bro. Uh, I know. No. I hate it. Okay. I, hate, I don't have tattoos. My kids have tattoos. I say, why are you putting that? Dad, you need to put in one. And I say, no, 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 don't, stop, stop. All right, I'll come up with a different bet. That doesn't have to do with tattoos. We'll see you fight week with that bet. I'm going to think of it. Next question. Uh, right here up front. Marcus Hayes, Fight Hub TV. Uh, my first question is for Anderson. Anderson, uh, we've seen you in just about every scenario uh, in fighting. Um, we watched you fight against Chavez Jr. a couple months ago. You looked outstanding. Uh, was there ever any part of you that wanted to be a pro boxer? Well, you know, I think I do everything I can do in my life, my professional uh, life. You know, I fight Muay Thai, I fight uh, kickboxing, full contact, uh, MMA, and I fight boxing too. I think now it's time to enjoy the challenge, you know, uh, I have the different uh, um, opinion about uh, 
boxing because uh, for the level to come and be amazing champion, you need to train in different. I train in hard, but that's not my goal. You know, I do my part in this sport and I continue to do, but I'm not young man anymore and I can't fight in the level with Canelo or, you know, this guy is amazing in, in boxing, you know. But I continue to prove my respect and do my respect for boxing. Next question is for Jake. Uh, Jake, we've seen you step up time and time again. When the Rockman fight fell out, is this immediately the first fight that you thought of? Yeah, 100%. And I'm so excited because now I have an opponent who's a real professional who will make weight, who will actually show up in the ring, and I don't have to worry about doing a whole training camp for no reason. So this is lovely. Um, he's not scared. He's not a bitch like Tommy and Hasim. So he's going to actually get into the ring, um, and that's, that's exciting. And as soon as Hasim canceled, I wanted to fight a pro boxer so that the dumb like the dumbass back here was saying, photo bro, pro boxer, like... Yeah, it, it's like it, his IQ is like five. So I've I've tried fighting a pro boxer, uh, but they won't fucking get into the ring with me. So this fight was supposed to be after Tommy Fury or Hasim, but we were like, all right, they don't want to fight me. Fuck it, let's just go right to it. Good day, Jake. I got a question for you, Jake. Hey, 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 hey. settle down. Please. I just want to say Please. hello from Australia, mate. Boxing deep dive, Tazzy Brown. I just want to first of all congratulate you and your brother for all the eyes that are brought on this sport of boxing. So being an ex-fighter, you brought so much attention to the sport, mate, and I'm a massive fan of you and your brother. So first of all, congratulations. Thank you. It's all right. And I want to say next, so Anderson's such an awkward fighter. Your preparation, you're learning each fight, each training can be getting better, and you can see that in your results. What sort of sparring are you going to be looking at to sort of prepare for a guy like Anderson who's not your, he's very, very awkward fighter? Yeah, look, I mean, he, he, he is and he isn't. Uh, I think on the inside he gets a little shifty. But we have uh, a ton of sparring partners who are emulating, you know, his style. Um, and I think, you know, it's my first time going up against a southpaw, which would be very interesting. But that's also an advantage because he doesn't have any footage to watch of me going up against a southpaw. So he doesn't know what I'm going to do. So we both have an advantage here. Uh, but have world champions sparring in the gym every single week at a very high level, and we're prepared. Just keep that front foot on the outside, mate. Trust me, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, now for Anderson, mate, such an honour to be in your presence. You're a legend, mate, and very, very respected in Australia. You love down there, mate. You've always, you know, been known as a boxer, obviously, as well. Like, there was talks about Roy Jones Jr. How come you didn't sort of go there a bit earlier in your career or just obviously... Now, you just focus solely on boxing. So, it didn't happen early in your career because there was talks that you could have switched over earlier. Well, uh, it's a good challenge for me. And I train in boxing uh, because I love it. And I have a lot of partners to help me. You know, Hobson and uh, Eliezer, my son Gabriel, my son Khalil, and a couple Brazilian uh, champions, you know, Olympic champions come to help me. And I'm so excited because every single time when I go to train with these guys, I feel I can do anything, you know. And I feel happy and I feel uh, completely... Uh, I enjoy because I know I train with the young kids, uh, champion award, and I can do my best, best I can. And I don't, I don't have nothing to prove for nobody except one thing, just do my best yeah. every day and enjoy. I, that's why I'm here Thank today. you. Everyone should show these guys respect too and just yeah, chill out. You're both legends. Well done, guys. Thank you. God Thank bless. You. Thank you. Thank you. Next question, please. Right over here. Uh, question for Anderson Silva. Anderson, you've had so many big fights with the bad guy over here to your right. Big fights in Brazil, big fights in Las Vegas. When you think about this one with a new kind of fighter in Jake Paul, it, what's the energy like? Is it the same? Does it feel like just business? What is it like for you? Yeah, it's the same energy, you know. Fight is fight, you know. 
um, I, I training for, for do my best and to hard fight, you know. That's I train hard every day. That's I have uh, uh, my, my, my sparring come to Brazil to help me, you know. The, only, the one friend of mine has come to Orlando to help me, you know, and it, it's very tough. It's a very tough fight. It's not, it's not joking. This is Gabriel Gonzalez for Cage Side Press. Jake Paul, you've made a lot of money from a young age. You've gone from beefing with other influencers to now you're about to step into the ring with one of the best fighters in combat sports history. When you take a step back and look at how your life has evolved in just a short time, what do you think about? I, I think this is surreal. I think none of it makes any sense, but I dedicate it all to hard work, surrounding myself with an amazing team, and just chasing my goals every single day when I wake up in the morning, writing my goals on my mirror in my bathroom and looking at them every single day and working 12, 14, 16, 18 hour days every single day to get to this point. Uh, so it means a lot, man. And uh, it's so cool to be sharing the stage with these guys too. I watched Chael growing up. So all this is just fucking crazy. All right, guys, last question, please. Over here. Please. Um, hello, everybody. You look very nice today, by the way. Thank you very much. Very nice, please. Uh, first question is for Jake. Um, how are you doing, Jake? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you for coming today. Well, you're welcome. I'd like to ask you a question. Uh, which round do you think you're going to knock out Mr. Silva? <laughs> <laughs> you mama <laughs> I love you too. oh it won't go more than five okay well um I, one more question mr um jake uh do you mind if i'll take a picture for you guys at the end and, yes yeah of course yeah, let's and, do it okay. anderson bro i want to know your prediction for the fight Oh, of course. Come on, man. He, 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 uh, just one second. Excuse sec. me. One second, one second. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I just have one okay, question. Okay, Mom, come in here. Give me oh, your hand. Thank you. Come here. Come here. Well, take, take this. Come here, Mom. Yeah. Oh, we're doing the picture right now. Right. You see that? He, he, <laughs> you love this kid, huh? I love both of you guys. Oh, okay, great, great. Come here. Let's go. Oh, Hi, nice you. to meet you. <laughs> Because that doesn't look good. Huh? Thank Perfect. Yeah. It's good, it's good, it's good. Excuse me, Anderson and Jake. Hi, Logan Paul here from Logan Paul Vlogs. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I was wondering if, while you guys are still up there just standing close to each other like that, I could just get in a picture and we could recreate the picture that we took 13 years wow. ago. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm, I'm going to come up there. We should do that. Wow. That's what I was going to ask. That was my question. That was a good question. Which side was that on? Both of his arms were like around us like this. Oh, ladies and do gentlemen, Logan Paul has joined us, huh? Round of applause. Welcome, Logan. Hey, today is my lucky day, isn't it? <laughs> Your amazing day, Mom. And we appreciate you guys. Let's take a, let's take a couple more questions. By the way, I We're feel like... I feel I like I gotta compliment the young lady. She went for it. I feel like I got a teaser too. She asked for a picture. She had no camera. Can, can someone send that to her? Could we get her that? Oh, we got. We have a piece of theater. Let me stand out of the way. I see you. We want to. We want to recreate the. Picture. Anderson, you're outnumbered. What happens here? Do I back you up? I mean, what are we doing here? I see two of them. <laughs> oh, I see. Maybe I need the backup. Let me tell you something, chill. <laughs> you never come to my house to my barbecue. The barbecue. Man. <laughs> Why? Okay. Okay, here's the thing. I didn't think it was a sincere offer. If I knew I was really invited, of course, bro. and then I didn't know if your wife forgave me, it was it was a whole thing. That's no, the real on, answer man. why I didn't you, come. You need to come, please. In Brazil. No, here in Brazil, a lot of people try to kill you. Trust yeah. me. <laughs> people hate you in Brazil, but I'm not. I'm not. I love you, man. I accept. I accept that. Thank you very much. By the way, I'm still Logan. You got me cured. What are we doing? We're just doing a photo. I feel like this is a moment. 
It's right. Crazy. 14 years. Do, do you remember when we met in Ohio? Do you remember yes, that picture? I remember this picture. Let's remember, I say, I, 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 I say something for you. I say, bro, you can do anything in your life. Just do it. Remember that? And then I fought you. <laughs> no. <Nah. Yeah. laughs> Are we okay, okay, okay. ready? Right. All right. All right. I have the foggiest idea what's happening, but apparently they did a photo about 14 years ago when the, when the Pauls were wrestlers out in Ohio, and apparently we're recreating that. I think we got it. All right, microphone. Let's microphone. Go. Getting told by Chris. All right, guys, you know what? We're going to wrap this up. We're going to carry this party over uh, to Phoenix. Please check us out. And guys, if, if I may briefly as a uh, community, we lost a young man yesterday. Theodore Elias, uh, 30 years, 34 years old, succumbed uh, to liver cancer. And as a community, he, he kept it from us. He, he dealt with this privately like a, a uh, true fighter. He came in short on this one. If we could just take a moment uh, to acknowledge the, the passing of Theodore Elias, please. Guys, thank you very much from that. We are going to get these guys on stage. We're going to face them off for what apparently is now going to be the second photo ever. And we will see you all on the 29th. And we'll see you all from Phoenix tomorrow. Hey, Brendan.